So, what are we doing here? Well, we are clearing some land because uh, because of the COVID-19 virus, there is a stay-at-home summer. So, we are staying at our ranch this summer and we need space for a stable so we can have the horse. So, I'm installing the same stable here as the garage I have at home, the big one. So, we need to clear some land, some trees and uh, my brother is working on that and I have the Kobelko with me. So this one I will use to pull out all these stumps and yeah, we have enough land ready now so soon we are ready for driving away all the wood with my farm truck. All right, round two with the farm truck and wood inside. Let's see how it goes this time. Okay, too easy. Uh, okay, <laughs> my brother's idea is to back up so they got stuck in the ground and then he can drive forward again and they will come loose. So either we'll see a success or someone get spit by trees. Kan vi prøve min plan nummer 2? Den, den var sånn når jeg, når jeg, når jeg begynte. Det, det, det står litt trei av om det er det sett. Den var sånn. Oh well. Success! So then we have done ready for a fire and this pipe that just have straightened up or changed out because this one was broken. Uh, you can see I have this pipe that brings air in under and this rim in here that will keep the fire from the bottom. And in here we are burning, yeah, me and the kids are having fun with some spray cans and stuff like that because when they explode in here, it just needs to go up 
it can't go out to the sides because it's concrete so it makes it a lot safer and don't worry we have a fire extinguisher right here I'm teaching my daughter to run the mini excavator since it's her horse, it's her stable, it's her problem with all the stumps left over from taking away the trees. So, but I think she's doing a great, great job. She's uh, pulling them away with no problem. Just a uh, small instructions and then she was going. So.
So I have taken over my the work from my daughter now. She thought it was a little bit difficult being the first time she's ever driving an excavator. I think she did good. So now I will just finish off the rest and uh, pull up the last stumps here and make everything a little bit level and make some ditches around so there will be no water inside the stable. And then I think it will be nice for our horse to live live here when we are on summer vacation. So this has been a fun fun day. A lot of stuff to do, a lot of fixing on chainsaws. Could finally get some running and <laughs> learned almost learned how to uh, sharpen the chain and stuff like that. So now I'll just continue with the Kobelko here and just pull up the rest of the stumps so everything is is out of the ground and then I can do a little bit more tomorrow with leveling everything and uh, making some ditches around and stuff like that before we go home because Tuesday it's back to work so pretty great. I don't know why we bothered with the chainsaws at all. The Miniacs could do it. So the first ditch is excavated and I know excavating one more going down and then we have this ditch on this side and this here and that should keep this area dry. So and I will take the access dirt and just level it down here where the garage is or the stable is standing.
ditch number two is done and everything I put up here of the excess dirt I will use to level out this area yeah, I told you earlier actually and we can see down here there is more moist in the ground so or water actually so now I need to cut down that tree and that tree so I can continue that ditch all the way to the creek over there so let's just fire up the engine saw and cut them down Oh, it is getting nice and wet here, but where I'm now excavating, I am putting down a pipe, so I just need a narrow ditch going that way. Then we will have a pipe going under here, so 
and they can come with the horse and go straight out this way. Well, I thought this might happen, that the pipe couldn't take all that water that I was releasing from the ditch, and uh, yeah, I guess I was right. But that is also why I put the access dirt there, so I can use that to level off here again. So, now I think I will just go and get the other pipe that we will put down in the ditch there, and uh, let this drain a little bit. But it's flowing nicely in the ditch, so that's great. I was just putting, I have more pipes like the black one lying there, so I'll just put one like that, where the entrance for the stable will be, and uh, yeah. Kumpi thinks water is great. He loves, he loves water. So this pond I made, it's more, <laughs> he, he is the one that uses it the most, I think, so. Okay, I think I need to put down one more pipe here actually. As you can see, it is not keeping up with the new water. So it's going over a little bit all the time, but the pipe is under. I did pull this out of the pipe, so that was blocking it a little bit, but still, I think this is full flow and We'll leave it a little bit and see what happens. I have more pipe, so it's no problem just excavating here and putting a new pipe on the side of this one. So I think that will be safer also for when all the snow is thawing and everything. But here I have the pipe for this place. So I will just cut off these things sticking up and uh, then we will put it in. There the pipe is in, and uh, yeah, all the dirt I excavated earlier is so wet that it's really hard making something about it now, but I will let it dry off a little bit while I'm 
leveling out this area and uh, then we can go back here and just make everything a little bit nicer hopefully the most of the water will have drained out of this dirt and and everything and as we can see the water is flowing really nice down here so no problems it's a little bit high here so probably right where it's pouring out is a little bit high spot but we can see it's still overflowing down there so I guess I need to go and get another pipe and put down there just to be sure that it's not washing out everything here but first I will be leveling this before because then my girlfriend and my daughter can start picking up all the sticks and everything so they ain't in the way for the horse So there it is, leveled off and ready. And there is a slope going this way, but it's no problem, it's the horse that's staying in here. So it's not much dirt on top here, so I guess in a short time the grass will come up through this again and it will be ready for installing the garage some other time. So the garage that we are putting here is 6 by 5 meters, so should be room enough for that. My brother, Super Mario. So 
then everything is done. Two pipes was the trick. Now it's no problem to take the water away. And it's flowing pretty good. So, and all this dirt and everything that have been pulled up, it will be probably overgrown in short time with this weather. Nice and hot and a lot of water, so should be pretty good. And as we can see here, it's yeah, pretty level and nice actually. Here is room enough, enough for the stable and and a lot more even. So I think this will be pretty great. So now we will just pack everything, and it's time to head home. Work tomorrow, and we only have 300 kilometers to drive to get home. So that's pretty nice short little trip with the excavator.